Hey, this is the Daily Overpass. My name is Eric and I make apps. Now today I want to talk about what the Apple 4.3 guideline is really all about. <laughs> All right, so today I'm a little bit annoyed, but first let me say thanks to everybody for subscribing and for liking uh, the videos and for commenting. I really appreciate it. But so today I'm, I'm a little bit annoyed because I'm a bit upset with one of the app stores. And without me saying anything else, can you guess which one it is? It's not Google, it's Apple, right? So I am having trouble with Apple sub approvals again. See. For, Back at the end of last year, I was having lots of trouble with the Apple 403, the spam errors and everything that was coming through saying a lot of your apps are similar, you need to combine them into container apps, and I said, okay, I'll do that at some point in the future. I won't, re I won't submit anything new. So now if I have a bug or anything like that, I just let it go because, you know, I, I still leave those on the App Store because consolidating all my apps into one application doesn't make sense from a marketing point of view. They don't share the same audiences, they don't share anything the same, but it still was a thing. So I haven't really, and I, someone asked me recently if I'm still having the same problem with that. And the truth is I haven't been s submitting to Apple a lot. I mean, I have, but I've been doing it for clients. So I've been submitting apps for clients and sometimes the client apps are very similar to each other. So like I've been doing that and thinking, oh, they must have eased off on 403 or the, yeah, the 403 error, the, the spam one, because I haven't had any trouble with it lately. Even some of the apps, I'm, I'm surprised that they actually didn't get caught for that kind of thing. So I thought, we'll try it, but we might have to combine these apps if they have a trouble with it. So I'll explain that to the clients, and they say, yeah, we'd rather, we'd rather try to put this as, as a separate app because it makes sense for the users. So I said, fine, and I haven't had any trouble. But I was talking to with another client, or it's actually a bit of charity work, so I was doing like some pro bono work for somebody, and they said that well, they had this thing, and they had this process, and they, they needed an app for it, but they didn't have any budget, so I don't usually do this, but I thought, yeah, well, you know, we'll help out, and I did it, because it was a really simple one, right, and it was unlike anything else on the App Store, so I thought, okay, or anything in my account especially, so I thought, yeah, we'll do it real quick, and, you know, spent you know, three or four days on it, you know, got everything ready, went through testing and everything like that, submitted it to the App Store, and guess what I got? 403 error, right? And they said, you know, you're, you have very similar apps, just, this looks like other apps on your account, all this kind of stuff, which was not true, right? There was no, there was no, none of the same code, none of the same anything, right? It was like, it was unlike anything else on my, on my account, right? And so, so I, I, I raised it to him, I said, hey, this is, I understand what you're saying about the container apps. I have several lear language learning apps which are targeted at different languages. I could consolidate all those into one application if I'm a moron, right? I could do that, and, and I said that I'll do that. At some, I tell them I'll do that at some point in the future, but you know, it doesn't make any sense, right? It's, you know, but so, I'm, so I've been trying to put that off, but they rejected the new one saying it looks like the old ones. And I said, no, it does not. I said, I challenge you to find another app on my account that looks anything like this. This one we did for a charity that's nothing, that's nothing to do with any of the applications I have on my store. I said, I think what you're doing is you're penalizing me because I have too many apps on the app store. Is that the case? And then they, they responded back saying, well, you have several accounts on your, on uh, several apps on your account that do need to be consolidated, so they're, re so they're rejecting this one. So they were rejecting an app which had nothing to do with any of the other apps saying they won't approve anything else on the App Store unless I consolidate some of the other applications, right? The reason I don't want to do that is because they're all targeted towards specific audiences with really tight SEO. So they all have different keyword targeting, different ways of doing things. If you know anything about ASO, you know that you have to think about who your audience is and there's no overlap in the audience on these apps, but some of them might be a little bit similar to each other, so they're doing it. And really what it is, see, I started to think that maybe they were, they maybe they had a point, maybe I need to do that. It was like saying, to me it's like saying, you know, let's take all the shoe shops in a mall and move them into one shop and give them one sign and, you know, and they just have to, you know, they, they can't brand themselves differently. But it's Apple's game, it's their store, you know, they're, they, they don't particularly like developers, so I thought, okay, well, I'll just live with that. So, but I thought, I'll put this other app on there. It's not, it's not for me, it's for another group of people. So I think what I'm gonna have to do is get this client to set up their own App Store account, because if I push it out that way, there won't be any trouble. So, 
I'm convinced now, just based on this, that the 403 error has nothing to do with having similar apps on the App Store. It's the amount of apps that you have. So if you're prolific, if you're a prolific app developer, Apple's not the store for you, right? They, they don't like prolificity. They don't like someone who puts out lots of things you know, because they'll just start rejecting things because they say, obviously you're just spamming the App Store, right? They, if you have one or two apps, that's fine. So, it just, it, I'm, I'm just a little bit upset. I talked about, I did, I get a lot of grief for a video that I did about the Ionic framework saying if Apple ever stops, starts rejecting those things, you know, then we'll all be in big trouble. And everybody says, no, Apple would never do that because blah, 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 blah. You know what? Apple will do anything. Apple has the, you know what? I think it's, I think it's lazy reviewers. You know, this is one where I'm dealing with a lazy reviewer. I've had this in the past where you have to keep going back and back and back to them. So I don't know what to do. I don't want to be the kind of person who has multiple Apple accounts, multiple App Store accounts for this kind of stuff. And I might just have to go through and do a call. I mean, the thing is all the apps make money. Through Apple, we get a lot more through in-app purchases. I might have one, I might have an app that makes, you know, two or three dollars a month as opposed to, you know, a couple hundred. But that's still two or three dollars a month. It's still yeah, there's still the potential for that to take off, but now, no, I have to go through and do something on that. So, you know, I knew that I couldn't do any more language games because, you know, they'll say, oh, it's too similar to the other ones. You have other language games, even though they're not similar. There's lots of, there's lots of variations in the code and the algorithms and all kinds of things. And to put everything into one application, I mean, imagine going to a bookstore and you bought a book and you, you had like, well, let's put all the mystery books into one or all the mystery books by a single author into one book because that makes more sense, right? And he just has to market it however he wants to, right? That's, that's what it's like. So anyway, uh, Apple, you know what? I'm sick of buying Apple products because I need them for the App Store. I am sick of Apple's review process. I am sick of feeling like Apple doesn't want me there as a developer, right? It's just, it, it's, it's ridiculous the way, the way that things work, but the, Anyway, I'll get that off my chest. I try to be really positive in these videos. I apologize for today. <laughs> Apple. 403 has nothing to do with having similar apps or spamming the market. It has to do with having too many apps. I have clients that have apps that are very similar to each other. We put something out. I think that's going to get rejected, but they only have like half a dozen, so it's fine. But if there were more than, if it was like, if they had, I don't, I don't even know what the limit is, to be honest with you. I know I have t spoken to people who have gone through and done a major cull of their apps and cut all their apps in half and all that stuff. And that might be something I have to do too. You know, I might have to, you know, despite the fact that people are downloading them, people are leaving good reviews, people are paying for them. I have to go through and limit them because, because the reviewer doesn't want to review them. So anyway, for those of you guys who say you only do Android and you don't do Apple, I envy you to a certain point. The reason I stick with Apple and I haven't given up on them is because it's still a lot of money made from that. It's a small percentage of downloads, but about 50% of revenues. Around, you know, it's, it's a lot more revenue. So anyway, that's it today. Sorry for the rant. will be a bit more positive tomorrow, I hope. <laughs> that's it for today. I'll talk to you tomorrow.